So, race 36, a mare's open, Hunter Chase over two miles, three furlongs, locked in for James Shea, Carl Rare for Thomas Rogers, near do well for Kevin Meanhan, Laser Clarity for Paul O'Neill, Polypop for Martin Leland, Sun Gal for Derek Hinton, Copycat Ball for Alex Cherry, Salanches for Thomas Rogers, Argentina for Paul O'Neill, and Mrs. Jody for Derek Hinton. Ten of them, to go over almost two and a half miles. They're away. Straight into the first. Everybody jumps it. And we've got over it quite cleanly. The copycat ball leads us from some gal. And a couple back to Salanches. Followed through by locked in laser clarity. And near do well. Oh, well, well, aim. We've lost, definitely lost one there. And it's near do well that's gone for Kevin Meanahan. Unlucky. Didn't get through the invisible wall. But it's copycat ball that still leads us. Some Gow and Sir Lanches, and then Laser Clarity and Carl Rare. Length or so back to Locked In. Oh, oh, some Gow just went straight through the top of that one and drifts back down towards the pack. And it's Copycat Ball that's still going to lead this. From Sir Lanches and some Gow has dropped into third now from Laser Clarity and Carl Rare. Locked In, Polly Pop, Mrs. Jody in Argentina. We go over the fifth. Then takes it well. Martin Leatham just coming in with a one here, Polly Pop. I mentioned his name because he's leading the like, King of the Hunters, but it's Copycat Ball that still leads us by a length and a half to Sir Lanches and some Gout. Length back to Laser Clarity and Carl Ray together. And locked in, Polly Pop. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh, we lost another one there. It's Laser Clarity that's gone. I think he won over the hurdles last week. Unlucky, Mr. O'Neill, but you've still got Argentina in there. Maybe it was because I was singing Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. But it's Copycat Ball that still leads from some gal that's moved up into second now from Sir Lanches and Carl Rare. Locked in, Polly Pop, Mrs. Jody, and Argentina. Pretty much been this throughout. We've got about a mile and a quarter to run. It's Copycat Ball joined by some gal as they go over the eighth. Well, I didn't tell you that particularly well with Sir Lanches. Some gal and copycat ball. Over the ninth, which is, will be the last next time round. Short little run in, and they'll go off for another circuit. Here at Chatter Chattersley Corbett, in Worcestershire. We're near Kitty Minster. We go over the tenth. Slow jump there by copycat ball. We've allowed some gal to have the lead on his own now. So some gal and copycat ball. Near one two from Polly Pop. About four wide on the course. You get to the ditch. Oh, oh and the invisible oh, and the invisible fence took two. Oh no, just took one there. Mrs. Jody's gone unlucky tell. Oh, I quite like those fences. It's like I don't know, you just don't know who's gonna fall. But it's some gal that leads us out here by from copycat ball. Polly pops in third, car rares fourth, Argentina's moved up into fifth. And then went Salanches and locked in. Some gal that leads us has come down to six furlongs from home. And a further four fences to jump. The one that's going to get to the next first is some gal by a couple of lengths now. Ridden hard into it. Takes it slowly. Allows the others all just to jump a little bit faster and uh, take away his advantage. So it's some gal by a length and a half now to Polly Pop. We go over the 15th. Everybody jumps it well. All bar locked in. We're slow over it. But it's some gal still leading us inside the final half mile. And it's some gal from Polly Pop in second up against the fence. Still is copycat ball pushing well through now. Is Carl Rare. Argentina's still got a little bit left. So Lanches has got something to do. But they're over it. And it's some gal from Carl Rare and Polly Pop. Argentina, Salanches, copycat. I can't see one of these horses. My eyes mistaken. There's three, six horses there, and there's seven still running. But it's some gal that leads us from Polly Pop, Carl Rare, Argentina, Salanches doesn't exist, I don't think, but it is some gal that's leading. Salanches has turned into an invisible horse. Anyone else notice this? But we're down to a furlong as they go over the penultimate and Polly Pop's taking on the lead now with Carl Rao. Some gal dropping away from Argentina as well, but it's Polly Pop as they get to the last fence. There's no run in here. Polly Pop's slow over it and Carl Rao on the inside. Carl Rao on the inside. Polly Pop on the outside. Carl Rao, Polly Pop was just lucky, I think, to hang on to that one. Another win for Martin Leadham. There's definitely an invisible horse in that race. 
I wonder, I got a little bit confused. Definitely only seven crossed the line, and eight of them should have been on their feet. I think it was Solanches we lost. Obviously, he went through the time tunnel and didn't come back. Fence number six or whatever it was, but Buddy Pop from Martin Ludum takes it from Kyle Ray of Thomas Rogers second. Argentina for Paul O'Neill was third. Some gal for Derek Hinton was fourth and locked in for James Shea was fifth. Solanches came seventh after copycat ball. Mm, interesting.